Good morning, Panther fans, hockey fans, fans of waking up at 4.30 in the morning with a open letter rant to Bill Zito in your head and not being able to get back to sleep until about 6.30, only to wake up a half hour later and go, I got to get up. I got stew in an hour. <laughs> so, uh, good morning. Hey, bud. People, go watch Jaws' recap of last night's game and the post-game comments. Very interesting take on things. Yeah. Very, very, I'll leave it at that. Very Right. Well, uh, it's, it's don't, interesting. Don't, don't get no, 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 no. I, I, somebody left a comment about that, said that, I don't, it was Jake, I'm not calling him out. Jake's a big fan of the channel, supporter, comes to every stream. But he said, I, 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 I could do without the speculation. That's only coming up because we're bad. I, all I'm going to say is this, buddy. I started this channel by bitching about the owners. And there was a different time. I was a rabid, pissed off maniac on Twitter. And the ownership and management was very active on Twitter. And all I'm going to say is the part that I said about Gallant isn't speculation. That's all I can say is I, I, I don't I, I might be speculating about what happened this time because it looks very much similar to what happened last time. But what I said about what happened with Gallant is not speculation. That's I, I got I got phone calls. I got DMs. To calm me down because I was a maniac because it was my first experience making videos and having any kind of public attention and I was just vomiting all over the place. So all right. that that's that's what I'll say about that. Okay. So moving on. We we we, we played like we should have won that game. Mm -hmm. And if if they're, if they're playing that playoff style. You know, dump and chase, shut them down, whatever. We shouldn't have lost with a two to one lead going into the third. Bob was playing good. Um, should have had the tying goal. Uh. And as far as the tipping, what I was saying with Colin White was I think he should have been on the other side, on the inside, okay, of the lane, of the shooting lane, instead of the outside. Right. Where he turned, he yeah, he didn't he had his body turned the wrong way, and a, it's a left-handed shot, like Kachuk, right? Left-handed right. shot in the right. middle. Great tipping, can't, right? Can't take anything away from the guy. Fantastic tipping and a bounce tipping. That's a goal, right. man. Yeah, goal no. ain't stopping that right. shit. Right, right, right. You know, it's a lot different type of tipping, but if Colin White, who's a righty is on the devil's players inside right okay right, but, but then he would have been completely screening bob as well not necessarily but well, let's just say let's just say it's an ekblad you know ekblad's always scored out of position he's always on the wrong side of things right i'm just listen right. everything happens really fast yeah i'm yeah. just saying in that scenario where you're looking to protect the lead you kind of want to you know, I'm not well, saying, let's, I'm not let's saying put it this way. The middle. I'm saying if you have a left handed shot on the left hand side, you'd be on his inside. That's all. But well, 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 I won't even disagree or agree. What I will say is that <clears throat> assuming you're correct, let, let's just go with I agree. This year's version of the Panthers. Oh, yeah. Wins or loses on whether or not Colin White boxes out his man properly in front of the net which was just a risk that's a bad recipe <laughs> well listen i i wholeheartedly agree it, it you know it's the game shouldn't have been tied bob i said it at the time to you he didn't come out cut the angle and right. um the shooter just waited bob dropped and you know he dropped into the butterfly and just yeah. put it between his pad and his uh glove yeah maybe yeah. put it over his glove 
Yeah, it went. It went. He, like, he, he should have had that. Right. right. So that's the difference. And right. you called it the other day when you said a team that's lost five in a row, they come in and, you know. Yeah. We're, we're the perfect yeah. team at this juncture to play to yep. break a losing streak. So, I know. Anyway, Look. Um, I mean, do we hash over like the same stuff we've been hashing over game after game after game? Well, let's 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 see if we can find some positives. This the stall Cousins Lomberg line as the third line, mind you, because I called him the fourth line, and then I realized, and then I saw the Dolpe line out there. I'm like, oh yeah, the stall line's the third line. Um, we could win games with them playing that way okay secondly please please i don't want to have to make the rant video where they send deanna Senko down while we're six and eight points out of a playoff he's spot finally getting some playing time and he's he's coming through he's, he he looks more confident mm -hmm. like you said that first game he had the jitters yeah it's only like his fifth game right 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 and um you know, Maurice keeps throwing him out there, and right. you know, he's playing with a couple of good guys, and he's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with, with Hep on the Emmy, but mm. for right now, you know, Dedesenko was, you're right, yeah. he should stay up. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen when these, you know, these other, I think Tierney will go back down. I think right. Doppy will probably go back down. Well, um, there's only... Um... Who's still out that's coming back? Duke? But Hornquist isn't coming back. Did you see the George Richards article yesterday? No, I'll read the, it today. The quote is, he's um, Zito was talking about it, saying exactly what we were saying. We're, look, he's 35, not 25. He's had multiple concussions. This is the second bad one this year. He's going to be out for, quote, quite some time. That he's, you know He ain't what? coming back. Let him retire. Right, right. Collect his paycheck and yeah. this and that. Yeah. Let's go He's... back to the Stall brothers. So, yeah, I was leading the charge earlier in the year about Mark Stall, right? And um, you know, right. I'm not going to take it back because at the time he sucked, but he's turned it around and he's been pretty solid. So, yeah, can't you know, can't say anything that. But Eric Stall, I think. Once he scored his first goal, yeah, I think that just like opened the door for him to just. I right. mean, you're right. The guy has had a, a, a like it lit that spark under him, and he's had a resurgence. He's right. been playing yeah. really good, and yeah, like you said, that line. I mean, you always got the, um, you know, the the, the workhorse in Lombard. Right, right. But um, Cousins has played good. That line, you're right. Yeah, that no, I, is, I like that, that line. line and, and, good. and with Stahl, it's like you had to figure he, you know, I mean, he couldn't even make a roster last year. So you got to figure even for a veteran, though, his confidence, he's probably wondering, man, can, can I can I do this anymore? Can I can I get the puck in the damn net? And so what you're saying, as soon as he scored, he's, he's playing well. He's got he, five goals or something like that now. Yeah, I mean, or something. I, whatever it is, he, he's playing well. Yeah. Um, it was good to see Lundell back. It was good to see him have that, quote, fight and not, like, re-injure anything. No, no, I, I, I'm sure he didn't want it, but I'm, I'm just screaming, yeah, I mean, upper body, you just got back. What are you doing? But I know. <laughs> I know. But he came when he back. Fell, when he fell to the ice, I was like, oh. Oh, right, right, yeah. With his head on the back of the ice, boom, out again. But, um, yeah, Lundell was definitely a, you know, little spark for them last night yeah disappointed just... disappointed listen the star of that game was blackwood i mean the guy the goalie hadn't played in 20 games missed right. 20 games jeez of course he comes back and he plays like dominic Kosick and just, <laughs> just made some incredible say that's listen that's our downfall because yep. we've been up in so many games this year where another goal right would have made the difference. Yes. Some goals even putting the nail in the coffin and, and we couldn't do it. Right, 
No, it's 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 usually been one to nothing, but last night it was two to one, and we just can't get that extra goal. And uh, it's funny take, because Eric, ten of them should have been in. Oh, it was it was ten of them. There was a lot of almost, almost like you said. Yeah, the I mean, shift at the end but, had a chance to tie it, and it, it just went by the net, like right and. and and, and that's what I said, you know, <laughs> people on the stream, like, we, it's not like we played bad. And I'm like, you just, that's the point. We, we didn't really play bad and we're still lost at home after we having a lead. And it's just demoralizing, you, you know? That's the key word. We didn't play bad, which means we didn't play good or good enough to win. Right. That's right. been that's been pretty much the story of well, the season. And, and somebody played. else said Sorry, sorry. But to your point, somebody else on stream said, Well, you know, there's there's no identity. And and I think that's that's the truth because like we say we're well, not playing bad, but we don't have an identity of this that's what we do good. That's when we're playing good. You know, you you can't you can't like last year, you saw it. They turned it on, and it was like they all had afterburners on their ass, right? Last year was the year. That's why last year was just crushing. Yeah. Crushing. Because, you know, you're the, you're the best team in the league, and you're expected to go deep, and, you know, you pretty much survived the Washington series and just get embarrassed in the Tampa series. And and I, and I want to make a point about that. Um because I've been thinking about this, because for a while people were saying, well, look, the, 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 the Lightning, they won the President's Trophy and then they came back, okay? There wasn't the same pressure on that franchise because they had already won a cup previous. They already had their hardware in the bag. The, fran the, the fan base was solidified. The franchise was solidified. The pressure on the Panthers is completely different. You win the President's Trophy, and we're thinking, finally, it's our year, finally. And to lose like that, the, 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 uh, and when I talk about, you know, maybe Viola overreacted or Zito did this, I'm not even, I'm not blaming any of the reasoning to, to feel the way any of them did. Let's, let's just, pretend for a moment that I'm correct, that Viola overreacted and pulled the trigger. Let's just pretend that I'm correct there. I don't even blame him for feeling that way because the pressure on this franchise is so much different than it was on the Lightning when that happened because they had already won. They, they were going to have a full building. So I don't know where we go from here. And that, that's, that's the biggest thing is I'm looking at it now and it's just like, do we have, we, we don't have the guys to win in Maurice's system. What do we do? Do we start retooling, keeping Maurice and try to play that style? Or do we miss the playoffs, cross our fingers that Viola after the season again says, rip it up, tear it up and goes in a different direction. I know the fans are sick and tired of going in a different direction on that hand. On the other hand, do we think if we retool with Maurice, it's gonna be any better? Well, I want to just comment on Tampa. When was the last time, think about this, they've been around 30 years now. Think about the last time Tampa had a bad team. Hmm. And I'll tell you, it's probably when they played in Orlando at that keep, big freaking baseball stadium. Keep, keep, keep they, talking. They I'm going to look it up. They, they have been consistently good, okay, for a couple of decades, they're always in the run. All right, granted, nobody expected them to get shut out in the first round by Columbus. It happened, but they came, you know, obviously they came roaring back. Right. Win two cups in a row in, in, in this modern NHL is really hard, back to back. Uh, let me see. All right, season. Oh, they're not... <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, you can't compare Tampa to the Panthers and you made a point about the fan base and the lack of, you know, <laughs> why we don't sell out. 
Um, I was speaking to my buddy yesterday who works for the Hurricanes. And okay. the Hurricanes right. are sold out every game. Right. And they've also taken over first place in the Metro. I don't know with Jersey's win last night where it's at. but um, So to your question. Yep. Yeah. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's see it. The Okay, hold on. Let me share it then. Let me get back over here. Um, here we go. Okay. The last time they missed the playoffs was 2016-2017 with 94 points. And other than that, they've made it, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the last nine years. Eight of nine years, they've yeah. made the playoffs. Yeah. And look, I mean, conference finals, conference finals. And? Cup, cup, and then lost the cup. I mean, they've, they've, they've lost more conference finals than the Panthers have made it to the playoffs, probably. And <laughs> they never blew up their team. And they've right. lost plenty of players and replenished them with other players. So, like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let's look at this. Cooper here, okay? Right. They, and that, Cooper that's comes a, in. They lose the first round. Then the next year they lose the cup finals. Then the next year they lose the conference finals. Then they miss the playoffs, and they kept them. They kept them. Now, I, I want to. Does anybody think? Does anybody think Panthers management would have kept a coach after doing that and then missing the playoffs? How and that's co- how many coaches is it? Six or seven in the last 10 years? This is my so? forget 10. Dude, this is my seventh season. We're on our sixth coach of just me making recaps for seven seasons. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's John Cooper has been there pretty much forever. The whole time. He's been there the whole so there's time. Lots of consistency. So. Right. Right. And the same system. Right. Right. And look, we were we were I'll speak for myself anyway. I mean, I was on board with Bruno moving. Um I think it's 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 been three things happen. We lost if we would have taken Tampa to six games, Bruno's still here. Okay? So you lose all four games. That 3.8 seconds happened. We never won a game. And the, and the zero for 33 on the power play. And the power play, and, and, right. and no changes. Right. So that happens. Then, whoever, Viola tells Zito, I, I, if, if, if I'm putting my money, I'm saying Viola told Zito to get rid of Bruno instead of Zito just doing it on his own. That's where my money goes based on history. Doesn't matter. We get rid of Bruno and we, where, what I don't understand, where I, where I get in the weeds, so to speak, is like, who's the guy? Because it's either Viola or Zito. There's there's two choices here. Who's the guy that said change it all? Because we've changed it all. Yeah. Listen. And and then the Kachuk and and then Maurice comes in and says he doesn't want to change a whole lot. But then with the Kachuk trade, he's he that all seems to have gone away because he said he didn't want to change too much. He just wanted to be smarter away from the puck, you know, when we don't have the puck and everything. But then with the Kachuk trade, it seems like that gave Maurice the green light to, all right, we're going to just change it all. So it's been one thing after another. And I think the thing is, is lack of vision. You know what I mean? The, the thing is lack of vision. And, ter- and, and what I mean by that is... If you look at the steps that they've taken between firing Bruno, hiring Maurice, and, and the trade, I think they're, they're kind of playing it a little bit by the seat of their pants. 
like what you said about Tampa, it's been the same coach, the same system. There's been a consistency, and they're winning. And we have a tendency, every time we start to get good, but we don't win at all, whether it's, I mean, like the same thing happened with Talon and Rowe. And I mean, does anybody really think Dale Talon wanted to trade Eric Branson? You see what I'm saying? He got promoted and suddenly Gabranson was gone. It's the same type of thing. It's like there's things that are going on that you look at the coaches, you look at the GM, you look at the players, and you're like, this ain't making any sense. It's not making any sense. Go ahead, Stu. At the end of the day, it's the players that have to play the game. Right. 3.8 series is over. Yeah. At the end of not, not being able to beat Vasilevsky. Right. At the end of the day, it's the players who play the game. That's that's what, you know, right, right now, that's what's happening on the ice. We're just not good enough. Right. We're losing games that we've had the lead. I mean, how many yeah. games have we been up in the first period to, uh -huh. we, we, to, to, to come back and tie it? And then... Right. So, right. all right, the question yeah. is, and it's really, you know, what do they call it? Well, I won't use that word. Let's just say speculating po points and where we are. You know what? Talk to me in a month. Yeah. Because I think by then we're pretty much out of the playoffs. I don't see this team making the playoffs. If they do, it's going to be the the last wild card, and we're going to have to go on an unbelievable run to do it. <coughs> right. I know. Injuries have played a big part. Okay. Yes. And key yes. guys have been out. But yes. every team faces that adversity, and somehow they suck it up and find a way to win. Well, I will say... Um, you know, I mean, Barkoff being out, you know, I, I'll give you that. I, I, I like Sam Bennett. He's not a 1C. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you that. Um, and it is tough when you're trying to learn a new system and you just, you know, you go to the rink every morning and it's like, who's, who's on my line? Who, who am I playing with? Let alone the system, right? It's, it's. So I'll give you that. And, you know, if somebody wanted to make the argument that the injuries and the illnesses have cost us five games. Probably more. I, 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 I can't argue against that. Um, my, my concern is exactly what you said. And that is, if we're good enough to get the lead, what is the reason we're not good enough to hold it? In I, the style, right? Maurice is has implemented. I can style hockey, right? Right, is right. Shut down hockey, right. and you just look for a defensive fuck up. I can handle playing that style and not being able to have the comebacks. I can handle that, but having the lead consistently and losing it—that is the opposite of what this team should. This team defensively to hold a lead with the goaltending, they, this should be good enough. They should be good enough to be holding leads at home. Well, I think a big difference is that we don't get that second insurance goal. Right, right, right. And, and we threw the kitchen sink at that guy last night. Yeah. Um, the third period should have been like desperation time. Right. Instead of waiting for the last five minutes, which is kind of sort of what they always do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and let's talk about the same aggressive four check. I think they sat back a little bit and, you know, didn't want to make any mistakes. But and the let's, game let's, was, again, the game was Blackwood. Right. Guy was sensational. Yeah. Hats off to him. And Bob missed one he should have had. Right. That's the game. Right. right. So, and and I want to get your opinion here because there's some disagreement, which is fine. It's just we're just opinions. 
for you know people on the stream last night. Um, man, I just wish we would stop pulling Bob because I, I you know somebody brought up the analytically, it's the percentages are, are in your favor. I'm not arguing against that, but when you not look at analytics, team. when you look at analytics, that's that's an average of those teams and these teams. And we're one of those teams that is bringing down the average because every friggin' time the same thing happens. We almost, 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 how did it not go in? Almost, oh shit, there it goes, and it's in the empty net. Eric, every I time. Agree with you. We're one of the best five on five teams in the league. Right. I right. agree with you, but again, that's like the history of the NHL. You're down one. Right, I know. You know, two minutes. To, I mean, how many times have we seen that? <laughs> You know, like Brunette pulled the goalie with three minutes and forty seconds or whatever. How about I mean, that? How about that coach that pulled the goalie when there was eleven minutes? Yeah, left? yeah, yeah, Crazy. yeah, yeah. I know. Never seen that in my life. I know. So, yeah, I know. but I I agree with you. Look, I'm not, and I'm not saying every time, but I mean, we've allowed empty net goals. I we haven't. Have we scored one goal yet this year with the empty net? Has it worked I, I, yet I, I, once? This, I can't think of one time it's worked. But I don't know, but I can tell you all it takes is a defensive cough up. You know, right. they're trying to do it fast and whatnot. Right. And when there's a bad pass, like what happened with Montour. Right, right. You know, all right, kept it in. But all it, takes, wanted... is, all it takes is one flub. Right. And then empty net. I know. I know. These it's, guys it's... are so good, man. I mean, they could shoot from really far away, and and but but the thing of it is, and this last thing I'll say, when when you're kvetching about Colin White boxing out a guy, the goaltender missing one puck, and the emptying of the net, when those are the issues, it's not a good hockey team. No, nope. it's just it's just not a good hockey team. No, nope. <laughs> you know. Nope. Oh, I can't believe I can't believe this man. And now we got the Islanders. Uh -huh. uh. Not expecting a lot there. I Spencer mean, Knight's going to be in against the Islanders. That's my oh, prediction. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I'm going to look at the standings. Here, let me bring them up. See, there's no, in my opinion, right now, there's no reason to even look at the standings. I, oh, I want to. It's, That's the reason. Oh, yeah, no, not because <laughs> I'm just saying, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be in the cellar. Really. Yeah, no, we're close. I wanted to see. Yeah, we're we're closer to last place than we are the playoffs when you take games in. 15, hand. 15, and four. Hold. Because look, because look, Islanders, Capitals. That they're they're tied for the eight seed, okay? The, the the Rangers have the seven, Islanders and Capitals are tied for the eight with thirty eight. So yeah, yeah the we're two, behind we're behind the Red Wings and the Sabers. Yeah, the Red Wings and, beat the Lightning last night. And games in hand, if the Canadians win, they're ahead of us. The Senators would be tied. Okay, so we're we're closer to last place. There's one stat I want you to circle. Sure. Look at the goal differential. We're uh -huh. minus two. We're minus two. You know two. what we were last year? <laughs> I don't know the exact number, but I think we were number we, two after Colorado. We were no, we were number one. We almost Not finished one. we almost finished with a hundred goal differential, and we would have um, if it wasn't for that final game against Montreal where we gave up 10 points, 10, yeah. 10 goals. So, aye, aye, aye. yeah, I can't we believe just, we're we here, just, man. we just truck on and call it like with it, like it is. Yeah. So, all right, look, um, sad times. Here's the last thing I'll say is when I do the recaps, oh, when, when, I, when I do the recaps, and th this is for people in the comments and people who watch, and I appreciate all of the engagement in the comments and everything. I do. Even the ones that disagree with me. When I, when I do the recaps, I'm not being analytical for the most part. I'm being emotional. It's, it, the, the end of the recap is a stream of consciousness, me just being a fan, the same as you guys. 
I'm not always going to get it 100% right in that post game because especially the space that we're in now, I just got used to this being fun and exciting and no worries and it was just all good. I did I did I did 5 year well 4 years of us being kind of like ass and then we just got good. So there's a lot of frustration that comes out in those. Last year it was fun making these videos. It's not wake it's not fun waking up early in the morning to put these out. Um it's just a deflating feeling after last year's high. Right. Right. It's like No, it's 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 tough. And you know, I say it all the time. We're all correct. We're all correct. Some of us see what we you know, some of us see the coach, some of us see Zito, some of us see this player, some of us see this. It's a little bit of everything. So I guess, like I said last night in the recap, and I'm not even just talking about specifically to me. I'm just saying in general, as a, it, there's, there's no reason to fight about any of this because everybody's correct. It's not one thing. It's, it's all of the things. And like I said earlier, somebody made the decision. Somebody said, all right, we're going to change the entire style. I just had the personal opinion of who it was because it's 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 happened before. And that's why I started the channel. So what did I say at the beginning of the year? I'm the one that said they need to play playoff style hockey during the regular season. So when they go into the playoffs, right, they don't have that big culture shock of going from showtime. Right. Okay, scoring. I mean, I can't even count how many games we scored a minimum of four goals. Minimum. Mm -hmm. It seemed like almost every game. Yeah. Run and gun to yeah. getting wiped out in the playoffs because the playoffs is sh sh pretty much, again, shut down hockey. Right. Getting a lucky break, a rebound, a tip and whatnot, and mainly scoring off a defensive mistake. So, right. Um, yeah. And you need your goalie to be and you need your goalie, perfect. right? And that's where right. you know Vasilevsky shines is in the playoffs. Yeah. And then you got yeah. players that step up. You know, you got Kucherov, Stamkos, Hedman. Right. You know, if those are the guys. Those those you know three guys. Yeah. 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 All right. Yep. Point. Braden Point. Yeah, Braden Point. Maroon, Pat Maroon. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't really have a core of players like that. No, that's why no. Huberto's not on the team anymore. Right, right, right. And Barkov. I know. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right, we appreciate all the support. Um, I'm let us know some... what you let us know what you guys think. Yep. Yep. If and, you um, wanna, if you want to vent, this is the video that yeah, you know. Yeah. I'll be reading all the comments, so I'm sure yeah. Eric will too. But yep, yep, yep. Now's yep. your time to let it out and yeah, tell us how you feel, <laughs> and tell us where we go from here. Because Eric yeah. you know, was talking about like, what do we do at the end of the season? Right. If we don't make the play, do we blow it up again? Right. And get another coach. Right. Maurice, sorry. Bad hire. I, you know, again, my apologies to the guy that put it out there, but he put out the, the stat that Maurice is the coach with the most losses. Right. He's a veteran yeah. coach. Right. <laughs> that's done right. nothing. Right. Okay. I'm yep. done. All right, guys. Colin and I will see you later on tonight. We're we're streaming the Jags Jets game. I'm sure I'll be back with something later because there's about three hours of content in my head. My ears hurt. There's so much content upstairs. So appreciate all the support, and we'll see you again later.